What is up guys, Annie Tier Guild Forever going to give you guys a brief little review for Zootopia the movie. So, this was what won on the poll for Patreon. It got the most votes and as you guys are aware, any movie that wins on Patreon is automatically put on YouTube. Anything that's a movie. So, that's why we got this. So it won the poll, but before I get into the review, I would like to say make sure you guys hit that like button subscribe comment and watch the video from beginning to end because once again as i always stated we have one thousand over one thousand subs actually we are just missing the one the, the the watch time guys by the end of this year by the end uh, look i really by the end of this year i really need you guys to buckle down on this by the end of this year, I would like to at least get one of two goals. Number one, we get monetized. Number two, we reach, reach 2K subs. Either one of those goals is fine. So please, guys, please, please, please watch this video from beginning to end. That way we can finally get it on that YouTube algorithm and I can be monetized and this channel can expand even further. Or if you don't want to watch the video from beginning to end, watch as much as you are able to. And if you don't even want to watch the video, period, that is fine. That is your choice. But if you can just hit that like button before exiting out of the video, sheesh, that is enough for me. So please, guys, do one of those, th do one of those three things or all of those three things. Again, the more you do, the better it is for the channel. So please, guys, help me out. I'd very much appreciate it. But uh, I will have to say this. Uh, well, there is no like goal. You can't look again. Please like it help a lot. But since this isn't a juggle, some of you are probably wondering, is the cross juggle henching going to come out tonight? It's not going to come out tonight. It's going to come out tomorrow. But I noticed that we have over 20 likes. That's good. That means either it's going to come down to one of two things. Either number one, the same set of series will get another episode the following day. So after today. Or, um, if we can get 30 likes, one series will get the opportunity to get three episode upload. But it all depends. But yeah, so uh, Zootopia won the poll, and I'm not going to lie to you. I actually really like this movie. It was really fun. It was really enjoyable overall. Um, clearly, Nick and uh, Ru Judy, I, I was going to say Rudy, Judy are a thing, okay? It, it's clear as day, okay, bro? Like, you can't tell me otherwise. They're clearly a thing. There's no dang way any girl would go to the extent that Judy did just to get just to get Nick to come around, okay? That's unrealistic. Clearly, she has a thing for Nick. It is 100% obvious. But uh, it's very interesting, though. For these two to be a thing, it would be pretty much Prey and Predator are in a relationship when... The movie, they pretty much did a huge, like the whole movie was basically about the disdain as well as the the issues between Prey and Predator. That was the main foundation of this film. And as messed up and sad as that is, I mean, it's true. Like when it comes down to the animal kingdom, the strong survive and the weak perish. That's typically how the rules of the animal kingdom are applied so makes sense and it's just it's just i like that if again we like whether they become in a relationship or not that wasn't a hundred percent clear at the end of the movie i'm not gonna lie to you that was not a hundred percent clear but well it kind of was because nick asked judy the question that you know you love me oh well, not a question he pre pretty much said it and she said she does so I'm going to roll with the fact that she, they, I don't want to say they're a thing yet because most of the time they had together was with this case. So I would say they're not a thing yet, but they're getting there. They're getting there. I'm sure. And once again, I have no idea as of the recording of this review, I have no idea if there's a Zootopia movie too, but I have heard there was, I heard there was a second U Zootopia movie. I don't like... I don't know if it's out or just a trailer of the movie is out, but 
I feel like if if a second movie is in the works or will be out soon, I mean, I understand if it's not out because I think I heard about that like a couple months ago, maybe close to a year ago. Not 100% certain. But, of course, you know, with things going on with the world, the reason why things are kind of on a slow pace. So, if it's not out due to certain reasons, then I completely understand. But, again, I don't know if there's a second movie. I don't think, I mean... Again, I'm pretty sure there is because I heard talk. I heard talk about it way, way back then. Um, but I will admit, if this movie did not get a second film, which look, I'm not gonna lie to you, even if it didn't get it, it's still a masterpiece. I feel like this is one of those films that doesn't need a sequel to be good, because on its own, it's just phenomenally phenomenal. It was very well done, very well narrated. The characters are likable. The movie was funny as hell. And just overall, it, it, it felt like a very wholesome kind of film. I did enjoy myself as I was watching this film. I really like the character Nick. He is honestly a really, uh, he's a really cool character. He's probably like easily the best character in the film. I'm not saying Judy isn't good. Judy is a good character for sure. But me personally, I feel like Nick stole the show. My personal opinion. Um, but if they do make a second film, which again, I'm pretty sure there is, I feel like that film would mostly be like the relationship between, uh, Judy and Nick, because clearly there's some kind of chemistry there, but we didn't really see it get developed. We pretty much got the introduction to these two, their backstory, as well as Judy trying to make it in Zootopia, which in most in the most case i'd say she did a phenomenal job if she wasn't a huge part of the po police force before she definitely was at the end of the film and not only that nick became one of became a cop too so it was nice to see that considering yo nick went through some he went through some tough shit when he was a kid i felt really bad for him i honestly it made him gain it made him feel more than what he was on the surface. You know, a sly fox, trickery, conniving. But the only reason why he did that is because that's how the world saw him. He tried to be... He accepted the role that he was born with and just ran with it. That's literally his character. While Judy refused to accept the role she was in and fought against it. One accepted their fate, the other refused it. She didn't enjoy the fact that she was just a dumb bunny. And while Nick just accepted the fact that he's a sly fox. But at the end of the day, Judy saw the perspective of Nick's. And Nick saw the perspective of Judy. They kind of... This is why I say this is actually a very strong ship. Because both understand each other. And both accepted one another's situation. Therefore, they probably have a very, very strong chemistry. Like before, one is meant to be feared, while the other is meant to be uh, meant to be. Wait, one is meant to be feared, and the other one is meant to fear. Uh, the other. That's how it was. So that's how it's supposed to go, according according to the rules of the animal kingdom. Judy, despite the fact that she's a cop, and went against that ideology. Some part of her still had some sort of fear. I wouldn't want to say resentment, but she had a fear of foxes, especially due to the fact. I don't think it's not. I, I, I feel like if anything, Judy definitely had some kind of phobia or was just straight up afraid of foxes because due to her childhood when she was bullied by a fox. Granted. Her and her old bully kind of reconciled. So that was a good thing. That kid that bullied her when she was young. If he, he was a predator. Classified as a predator anyway. In regards to animals. And yet he wanted to turn over a new leaf. He just wants to do things his way. He wants to live a life. Not necessarily as a monster. But as just another animal that's trying to survive. And be somebody or do do something good in the world. And honestly, I really like the, di the dynamic between 
um, the prey and the predator, it really gives a solid foundation that one is meant to one is weak while the other is strong. One is feared, one is is a one is feared and one is meant to f be afraid of. The other is we. Uh, you, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. So, um, I like that, and I like that the message. The message of what the movie was trying to say is that it doesn't matter whether you're a prey or a predator. We're all animals in the end. All we want is to live in harmony with one another. That was, in my personal opinion, that is the foundation of Zootopia. Zootopia is to bring together both animals that considered prey while animals that were considered predators to live in harmony and not see each other's see each other as enemies meanwhile the main threat honestly the main threat was a huge irony but it makes sense it would make it honestly it makes a hundred percent sense that the villain was classified as a prey because she is pretty much the embodiment of a prey that hates being discriminated hates being looked upon as prey or hates basically does not enjoy being i guess you can say of the weaker category among animals or animals that are considered fodder you could say she fought against her role but she did it in a very how can i say it? She, she was basically she was she was very vengeful because you can tell that sheep uh assistant was not happy with her place and she wanted more but she was smart she was she was very manipulative like i'm not gonna lie to you she was very manipulative she manipulated i don't, I don't know would you honestly say that she manipulated Ju uh, judy in accordance to her plan or did she genuinely was just trying to look out for the another fellow little guy you know what i mean it's hard to kind of tell but um Again, I will have to say the driving force of this movie was definitely the relationship between Nick, the fox, as well as Judy, the rabbit. And if there is a second film, um, let me know if it's out. If it isn't, if there's a trailer, I'll definitely check it out. I'll probably re react to it and upload it on my second channel. And yeah, hope, again, me personally, if there is a second film, I want it to be the f pretty much... The clear answer between the a clear answer for the relationship between Judy and Nick. Even though, again, I'm not sure if it's just me, but I do 100% think these two have a very strong chemistry, and the ship, the this ship has to happen. If this ship does not happen, I'm not gonna lie to you. I might actually be a bit triggered because I ain't <laughs> no okay. Like, after everything we went through in the film, this chemistry needs to happen. But once again, I did not fault them for not expanding more. Well, we did expand them more as friends. Like, they expanded. Look, what they did in this film in regards to the relationship, they made them accept one another as well as befriend one another. And by the end of the film, it's hinted that they're more than just friends. They're possibly, you know potential lovers we don't know but the movie is kind of hinting at that so if there is a second film i need that film to make it to where it solidifies judy and uh nick's relationship that's what personally i want for the second film if there is one but other than that guys that's it um hashtag hashtag um hashtag it's a hustle, sweetheart. Hashtag that in the comment section down below. Because I'm not going to lie to you. That's got to be like the key word. Like the key phrase throughout this entire film. Let's be real. But other than that, guys, that's it for me. Once again, fantastic movie. Dis Disney movies are always a treat. I love them. Hopefully you guys do too. And I'll see you guys all next time. Peace. I'm out.